Hello Mandingos and thanks for joining me on another episode of Tasting Britain's Low Star Takeaways. Oh yes! How then? Let's go and get some food. Ah. Uh... Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. Today, I'm in the village of Horden, which is on the coast in County Durham, in the northeast of England. I'm going to be trying some food from a takeaway by the name of Golden Fry. The local council has recently given it a horrible, miserable one in the food hygiene rating. Not as bad as last week's, the Chinese I had, which had a big fat zero. But ones are a good score. But I've been told by a friend who lives local here that the takeaway is really nice. So that's what I'm looking to do, guys. I'm not coming out and doing these, trying to find places and say the food's horrible. I'm wanting to find one star or zero star takeaways where you can get a good meal. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. Okay, then, guys, I'll bring you back when we get up to the takeaway. Oh yes, you better believe I will. Right. Okay then my fan sexuals, I've parked the van up just around the corner from the takeaway so I'm going to go around in a minute and get some food ordered. I know what I'm ordering because my friend who lives around here, he's already given me a, a menu so I can have a look and I'm going to choose Mealdale 2 which is a pepperoni pizza, garlic bread, garlic bread, um, chips, cheeseburger, um, chili, garlic, large bottle of pop, might be something else, I can't remember. Anyway, how let's go and get this food ordered. Right. Right folks, I'm just going to keep the camera pointing ahead. When we get in there, I'll point the camera down, because I don't want them to know that I'm recording. You know it makes sense, man, dingoes. Here we go, just coming up to the golden fry takeaway. I'll have um, 
meal deal number two, please. a good price for all our food less than 15 pound the pizza shop the takeaway look really clean inside so first impressions no problem at all that looks like the back of it here let's have a quick look oh matron yep I think it's gonna be a good one just moving out the way because there's someone <laughs> sitting in the van there looking at us. Yeah, like I say, it's come highly recommended from a friend. Everything looks good, good price. Let's hope the food is lovely jubbly because I am starving. Oh yes, you better believe I am mandingos. Lice. Food, guys. Now we're going to drive and park up somewhere, jump in the back of the old rusty John Claude Van Sexual, and get stuck in. You better believe it. Okay, then, my Fandingos. The plan dingo is we're going to jump in the back of the old Van Dingo and we're going to eat some Scrandingo. Ho oh, ho, yes. You better believe it, man, dingoes. Okay then guys, let's have a look and see what we've gotten from that one star takeaway for less than £15. We've got some chips. We have a pepperoni pizza. Garlic bread with cheese. We've got the garlic sauce, the chilli sauce. We've got a burger there with salad on and some more chips. And they've even given us some chocolate cake for dessert and a nice bottle of Pepsi to wash it down with. Well, that looks absolutely tremendous. I'm now going to sit down. I'll bring you back in a couple of seconds and I'll be getting stuck right in. You know it makes sense. Oh, yes. Time to get stuck in now, guys. What am I going to start with? I'll have a couple of chips. A little bit soggy. But the do taste nice. Let's try one. Dipped in with garlic. Mmm. Garlic's really tasty. Decent start. Soggy chips, but that's not the end of the world. Pepperoni pizza. Lovely and hot. You know what? That's really, really nice. Mmm. Can't 
can of company in there guys let's get some garlic sauce on that pizza oh yes you know it makes sense mmm mmm I'll have another slice of that I know you're thinking there's a lot of food here and you'll think you're not going to eat all that you're right I'm not going to eat it all I'm not one of these people that does the, the food challenges where they eat shit loads of stuff I'm going to try a little bit of everything mmm very nice I've got work first thing in the morning tomorrow morning seven o'clock so whatever I leave I'll definitely be taking to work on my bait tomorrow mm. Mm -hmm. not bad at all Right, what we're gonna try next? A big garlic bread with cheese. And with the garlic bread, I like to use the chili sauce for that. We'll get that dip in there. Mmm. <clears throat> Go on. That chili has got a bit of a kick to it. this ah. yep a little bit kick to the chili which I don't mind this is what I like to do guys when I have my garlic bread with cheese I get some chips rammed in there Ew. dipped in the old chili and down the old mm, god down the old Gregory Peck. That is spicy chili. Woo -hoo. Spicy, but nice. Mm-hmm. Just shows you this is the perfect example of people. Yeah, they're reading the paper. Or you might say it online that one of your local takeaways has been given for example like this one a one star and you're automatically thinking I'm not going there again it's minging but they don't always get the one star just because the food's bad the food can still be lovely there's loads of reasons why you can get one star yes it can be because the food is rotten They can also be where they store the stuff. Um, the cleanliness of the kitchen, which is obviously still not good, even if the food's nice. You're not going to want to eat there, are you? If the kitchen's minging. But, where else can it be? Yeah, I've noticed when I've been looking online and seeing what other places are failed for. Uh, confidence in management, that's one that... Um, that's been brought up quite a bit for other takeaways. Get some garlic on that. Some garlic got to kill my mouth down. My chilli's got my mouth on fire. Yeah, confidence in, ma in management. I mean, what, what can that mean? All I can think that means is when the council inspection workers turn up, the owners of the pizza shop, they might have a bad attitude and they might be saying, you're not coming in and checking. Or they might just be making things awkward for them. Anyway, that's what I think. Well, the garlic bread with cheese, quite nice as well. Pizza was better. So I've had soggy chips, that tastes nice. The pepperoni pizza, absolutely tremendous. The garlic bread with cheese, Okay, not the best of art, certainly not the worst. The end of the drink, guys. Oh, 
Oh. The pop's warm, so, you know, they should be giving you pop out the fridge, I think. You want to drink it with your food and you don't want warm pop, but I'm not going to twist on too much. Right, move that pizza out the way. We'll now try the burger. Let's see if it's any good. Plenty salad on. I don't know how well you can see that there. You can't really see the burger, can you? There it's there. It doesn't look like the best burger in the world, if I'm being honest. Let's give it a bash. Nice and hot. Tastes okay, yep. Yeah. Not bad at all. And then, I've also got some chocolate cake. You can't complain about that. It'll certainly ding dang do. But this mandingo is the same they do down. You better believe they do. Mmm. Not bad at all, mandingos. There we go. Hmm. You can make it like a pig. But when you've got a a big takeaway like this, there's no point messing around, you've just got to get stuck right in. I'll have one more bite of this, and then we'll we'll try some cake, yeah? Decent, decent burger. We'll have a little bit of cake. If little Mick was here, he would have loved this. Because when we're at work and we order a takeaway, little Mick loves it on pizza shop nights when we get a kebab or a pizza, or a chicken wrap, stuff like that. But poor little Mick, he's full of flu. I was going to ask him to come tonight. He's been off work the last two days, very poorly with flu. So get well soon, little man Dingo, if you're watching. Warm pop. Alrighty, let's have a little bit of cake. I'm only going to have a little bit of this. I'll keep the rest when I get home with a cup of tea. That's really nice. Really, really nice. Ah. First time I've had this like to be honest. From all the pizza shops I've been to, Getting meal deals. I've never been given a nice piece of chocolate cake as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to keep you watching me any longer. Sitting here eating like a pig. Like I say, I've had pepperoni pizza. Very nice. Chips, soggy, but they tasted okay. Garlic bread with cheese. It was alright. Not the best I've had, not the worst I've had. The burger, no special, but it was decent. And cake, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to give that, marks out of 10. I'm going to give that a solid 7 out of 10. Yep, you know you're thinking, oh, it's only been given a 1, 1 star or 1 in the hygiene rating. And you think it's going to be monkey. I couldn't, that couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> Can't even talk properly. I'm not surprised at how nice it is or how decent it is. Well, guys, I'm gonna eat a bit more cake. When I bring it back, I'll answer a little question. Then when I drive home, I'm gonna jump back in the van and we're gonna do a little world famous Waski with you. Oh yes, you know makes sense, man, goes. Right, it does. <laughs> Alrighty, time to go home now. 
I might as well answer a quick question before I start the van up. And the question is, am I going to keep doing these foodie type videos? And if I do keep doing it, will I ever go further afield? You know, the, I'm calling these videos Tasting Britain's Low Star Takeaways. So will I actually go around different places in Britain to do this? Well, yes, I am going to keep doing these videos. It was the first one I'd done last Friday night. And it seems to have gone down really, really well. It's getting the same type of views I get for the stealth camping. I'll always do the stealth camping video, guys. If that's what you like, if you're not into this kind of stuff, and it's the stealth camping that you love watching, don't worry. I've only ever made one stealth camping video a week, and I'm going to continue doing that. Stealth camping Sunday, as usual. So everything stays the same there, Mandingos. But I'm going to keep doing this, yeah, on a Friday night. I'm never going to run out of dodgy zero star and one star takeaways. There's always going to be somewhere that's going to have a dodgy takeaway. Somewhere that might even have four stars now could get checked out in a few weeks time and could get marked down to zero star. And I'm just a man dingo to go and try <laughs> to go and try that food. Um, will I go further afield? At first, I'm going to just stick around the northeast of England where I'm from but I don't have to just stay in the city of Sunderland where I live I can go all over the place there's enough towns and villages and cities and places around the northeast that'll keep me going for a good couple of years where I can do a different place a different town or village every week if I go away on holiday with Mrs Blot and little Blot I'll try and find somewhere when we're away so about four times a year for now, I can do, you know, if I'm over the lakes, I might find somewhere. If I'm down Blackpool, I might find somewhere dodgy. If the channel picks up, if this food thing picks up and it starts doing well, you never know, I might be able to <sighs> vent, uh, go further afield. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. It all depends on how well the channel does, how big the channel gets. For now, I'm just enjoying things as they're going. Thank you to you absolute legends for supporting the Plot Outdoor Show. And that's enough of me talking shit from now on. Let's get home. Let's get back in the van, Dingo. And let's do a world famous Waski with you. You know what makes total sense, man, Dingoes. Right. Oh yes, you know what time it is man dingoes, waski time, and this is what we've got this time, Lock Lomond, 12 year old, I've had a couple of these waskies from the Lock Lomond distillery before, not this one, but the two I have had were very nice indeed, okay then guys, let's get this popped in, the old famous cub dingo, man dingoes. And let's get the old big Aruni in it. Oh, a very nice smell of that. Like a lovely, creamy vanilla thing going on. A bit of fruitiness. I know you're probably going to laugh, but I'm getting. Like a lovely smell of freshly baked apple pies. I really am. Oh, very nice indeed. That's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Lice. Sweet and sugary. Like brown sugar. Mm. It's got a fruitiness to it, but I'm not getting apples like I got in the smell. I'm getting more like the taste of plums in my mouth. Oh, matron. 
Mm -hmm. And that's the taste. It's very sweet. Mm. Yeah, like a stewed plums. And like a sweet vanilla aftertaste. Where have I put that bottle? It's there. Loch Lomond. 12 year old. It's really, really nice. I knew as soon as I smelt it. That lovely smell. I knew it was going to be a quality whisky. Yes, guys, just a, a quick one this time because I think I've slavered on too much already this video. I'm going to give that Loch Lomond 12 year old single malt scotch whisky a very, very good 8 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes, you better believe I am, and you know it makes total sense. Well, guys, that's the end. If this was give you, you know what I'm talking about. This is serious wasky tasting. And that's the end of this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you're starting to get used to these little foodie things I'm doing. But like I said earlier on, don't worry. The stealth camping will still continue every Sunday. So on that note, please join me, Mandingos, this Sunday for my next epic stealth camp. I will see you on Sunday, guys. You absolute legends. Rights. Oh, uh, amazing.